Nolan, good to see you. Today we are talking through new retirement account contribution limits for 2024. The IRS recently announced that we will be able to save a lot more for retirement in 2024. These increases are in line with an increased cost of cost of living. So we're going to break down those changes and how we should prioritize our retirement savings. Again, the most widely used retirement tool, 401ks, IRAs, those contribution limits have increased. Yep. So the uh, traditional IRA contribution is up from 6,500 up to $7,000. It's a change of $500 and 401ks get the same contribution um, change of 500. Uh, total contribution for being um, over the age of uh, uh, 50 or um, a lot of other things in your 401k are likely going to remain the same so far this year. So yeah, most of the changes are the employee contribution and your ability to contribute in, into traditional IRAs and Roth IRAs. Mm -hmm. Now we got to ask, how about catch up contributions? Yeah. And catch up contributions, which are those that you can put into your account over the age of 50, those are going to remain the same in 2024. Uh, for most accounts, traditional IRAs, Roth IRAs, that dollar amount is a thousand dollars. And then for 401ks, that number is a little bit more, um, six or $7,000, I think in 401ks is the catch up contribution. Mm -hmm. So the catch ups are going to remain the same total contribution amounts are going to go up by about $500 each. Mm -hmm. Another account that is increasing the limit, health savings accounts. And as we talk about one of our favorite savings accounts for retirement is the HSA, Nolan. Why is it so favorable? So HSA funds, health savings accounts, uh, health savings account funds are uh, especially precious because they get three tax benefits. When you're putting money into an HSA, you get a tax deduction if your income is in the right spot. Uh, growth in the HSA is tax free. And then when you take money out of the HSA, as long as it's for qualified medical expenses, then that's a tax free withdrawal as well. So you mm -hmm. get quite a lot of tax benefits through an HSA. So it is notable that the um, total amount that you can put into that in 2024 is up just a little bit this year. Mm -hmm. And so, again, when we talk through all these options that we have when it comes to saving for retirement, how do we prioritize where to put our money? So first things first, with everybody, I always just make sure that you have good emergency savings. You know, mm -hmm. we're talking about retirement savings here. So this is after you make sure that you have enough to fall back on. But once it's time to look past emergency savings, it depends on what your investment goals are. So if you want to retire early and you may be looking at the marketplace for health insurance, HSA funds can be used for those premiums. So maybe your goal you know, over the last years of your retirement is to funnel more money into an HSA while you're eligible so that you can get a tax break. Whereas younger investors, a lot of people prefer, you know, tax, uh, tax advantage Roth accounts, uh, 401ks, Roth IRAs. It's after tax money. And we anticipate that we will never pay tax again on the money that's in those accounts. So I think it depends a little bit on your age, on your objective, but it's certainly worth a conversation to make sure that you're putting your money in the right places. Exactly. No cookie cutter answer. So if somebody would like to talk to you about how they should prioritize saving for retirement, what's the best way to reach you? So they can call our office at 616-301-2581 or go to our website, cornerstone-rp.com and fill out the contact us box at the bottom of the page. All right, Nolan, thank you. Thanks, Aaron.